All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be doing a weapons tier list. So I'm going to be ranking the best and worst weapons in all of Siege. So if you guys enjoy this video, remember to like and subscribe, turn notifications on. I do do daily uploads. And with that being said, let's move on to this tier list. Before the video starts, I want to talk about today's sponsor, R6 Tracker. R6 Tracker is a built-in stat tracking overlay that you can use in-game to track the real-time stats of both your opponents and even your own team. Not only that, but you could also use it to track your own progress, meaning you can view your performance in the last couple games, check your MMR changes in-game, and much more. R6 Tracker is really helpful with spotting out cheating, which currently in the state of the game is a huge issue. R6 Tracker also allows easy profile lookups and even to view global stats. For example, top global player, top global played operators, and many more cool features. You can use the link in the description to give R6 Tracker a try for yourself, and thank you to R6 Tracker for sponsoring today's video. So, I'm not sure if I'm gonna go in order. I might kind of pick and choose. Okay, I see the LMG here. Let's uh, automatically bring Fink LMG straight to S tier. I think we can all agree the LMG is, uh, well, it is uh, very annoying. Very, very annoying. I really hope that Ubisoft fixes it soon. I'm kind of disappointed that in the new season, they didn't really do anything to address Finca or the LMGs. And they kind of just said, hey, we're going to fix this next season. Even though I think like an easy fix would just be like adding more recoil, making you move as slow as like Blackbeard when he has his shield out, um, lowering the ADS time, and you'd be solid. But like apparently that takes nine months to fix. So beyond me. Anyway, so moving on. Uh, the L85, definitely an S tier weapon. If you guys know me, big sludge main. And the L85, man, that thing is just nasty, okay? That thing is, is straight up nasty. Uh, let's see, SMG11. Um, I love this gun a lot. I want to put it high, but I don't know. I don't know if it deserves it just because of the low ammo count. We're going to put it in A tier. I, I don't think it's quite an S tier weapon just because the ammo count's low. If we're talking about, like smg 11 from you know year one with the acog maybe i'd put an s tier but i think it's an a tier gun uh moving on let's see i'm trying to pick and choose what what guns i want to use here uh the mpx let's bring the mpx up to a tier i think it deserves a tier it's not s tier because it doesn't do enough damage it's a little pea shooter but it's a headshot machine so you got to bring it to a tier um Let's see. Hmm. Let's find another S tier gun. What's another S tier gun in here? Uh, actually, let's let's do a lower tier gun, and that's gonna be the SMG12. I gotta put this thing at like C tier. I know it's better now. Like maybe it can be bumped up to like B, but I'll put it at C. This gun is god awful. Let me know if you guys were here, like if you guys were playing the game when this was an S tier in white noise. If you guys remember this gun being S tier. And you could just absolutely shred people. Like, I remember, like, the newer players won't believe this, but back in the day, you would play Vigil, and you wouldn't even use the K1A. Like, I, I honestly, I can't remember when I used the K1A all of White Noise. Like, the the SFG-12 was just that good. Oh, here we go. Uh, Capkin's gun. This thing, I've got to put in A tier. I'm a little bit biased because, personally, I love this gun. Maybe some people would put it lower, but I mean, it doesn't do much damage. It has, you know, 31 rounds in it. It does, I don't know, a decent amount of damage. It has no recoil. I would say it's similar to the MPX. So for that reason, if MPX is A tier, then this gun's also got to be A tier. And then if we're going to say those two are A tier, you've also got to bring the, the G36 into A tier. Because I feel like these three guns are similar in a sense. I think the G36 does more damage than these two. Uh, as it is an AR, but personally, I'm not a fan of the G36 that much, and it's my tier list, so it's going A tier, and you can deal with it. MP5, straight to S tier. This gun is amazing. I remember, oh, I remember back in the day when Doc had an ACOG. It was crazy, bro. That gun is definitely S tier. Even without the ACOG, it's S tier. I remember back in the day, I would run hollow on it. People would call me crazy, but uh, let's see. What's another gun? Is this the 417 or is this Blackbird's gun? I think it's Blackbird's gun. Where's the 417? Is this it? Yeah, I think this is it. I got to put the 417. Ah, uh, God, B or A. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll put a B tier. I, I love this DMR so much. I feel like if I put it A tier, too many people are going to get mad. 
But I feel like this gun's underrated, man. The 417 is crazy. Uh, moving on, let's see. Um, Cali Sniper. Man, where would we want to put Cali Sniper at? Hmm. I personally hate this gun. So, yeah, that makes it hard for me to kind of place it. I'm not sure where I want it. I, I kind of want to put a B tier because it is just a sniper rifle. So I'm going to leave it there. Uh, the R4C. Damn, where do we put the R4C at? Back in the day, this would be a definite S tier. I think nowadays it's B tier for me personally. Like, I, honestly, I'd even put a C tier. I hate the R4C nowadays. It has too much recoil. I really don't enjoy using it. It kind of sucks in my opinion, but I'll put a B tier. But I honestly think the only reason I'm even putting a B tier is because of nostalgia. Um, I forget what this gun is called. What what is this called? I for, I totally forget. I'm gonna call it Thunderbird's gun. Um, this this weapon, how is it S tier? I think it is. I think it's S tier. I love this gun. I know I went through like a little bit of a Thunderbird phase, and I would like only use that gun, and it was solid, definitely solid. Uh, we've got the AK. Yeah, this has got to be S tier as well. Let's let's do another S tier. The AK-12 is just too crazy, man. I know, like, man, I just, I almost wish the AK was on a different operator besides Fuse and Ace. Because, like, Fuse is so slow, so it's not that fun to use them. And then Ace, you kind of have to stay alive with them, at least for a little bit. You can't just, like, entry frag right off the rip. So, you can't just frag out as much, I think. So, that kind of sucks, but it's definitely an S tier weapon, in my opinion. Same with the C8. Let's put the C8 S tier. You have to put the C8 S tier. It does a crazy amount of damage. The recoil is not that bad. And it has a secondary shotgun. The only gun in the game that has a secondary shotgun. So if you run out of ammo, you can switch to the shotgun quick. If there's a guy close range, switch to the shotgun. The C8 is a definite S tier weapon in my opinion. That gun's too nasty. Uh, let's move on. What do we got? Cavs pistol. I'm going to put the C tier. I don't use Cav much, so maybe it's B tier. I definitely wouldn't put it higher than B tier though, so I'm gonna put it C tier, in my opinion. I remember when this gun was maybe closer to A tier, when it did like a bunch of damage. I know it still does, but it did like 99 damage, even up close, and you could just one-shot people, like if you were within like 10 meters of them. It was kind of broken, to be honest. I know they fixed it now, it's not as OP. I haven't used it enough to know if it's actually better than C tier. But I'm gonna put it there just to be safe. And I'm gonna move on to the next gun. Let's see the F2. I'm gonna put the F2 at A tier. I think the F2 is good. Um, I remember back when it was S tier, definitely. I know some people are gonna get upset with me putting it A tier because they really like the F2. But I want to ask you, how much of it is nostalgia? How much are you like? How much of the placement are you putting with with the gun being an S tier? How much of that is it being nostalgia? You really gotta ask yourself that. Because yes, the F2 is good, but it's nowhere near as good as it used to be. And it has this legacy of being this crutch gun. But in my opinion, it's really not that good anymore. Um, I, I, it's not as good, I should say. It's still good, but it's nowhere near as good as it was. It has only 26 rounds now. I think the recoil is higher. Back in the day, it didn't have nearly as much recoil. And it had a lot more ammo. So... I would have put an S tier, but for those two reasons, I got to put an A tier. Definitely a solid choice still, but not as high as I would put it. Moving on, let's see. Oh my goodness. Zofia LMG straight to S tier. We're going to have a lot in S tier, I feel like, which is a good thing, to be honest. I kind of prefer a lot of guns being good rather than mid. So it's putting that straight to S tier. That gun is OP. We already know. I already talked about it the first thing we put in the list. I think LMG. The LMG meta is just too busted, man. Someone's got to do something about that ASAP. Let's see. What should we do next? The Roni. All right. Let's definitely place the Roni in here. I'm going to put the Roni at uh, A or B, A or B. I feel like we don't have enough in B, but I feel like it'd be disrespectful to put this gun in B tier. But it might be irresponsible to put it in A tier. I put it in A tier. I'm sorry. I love this gun. I know it's nowhere near as good as it used to be. I I could see it being in either. So don't get mad at me. I, I could see I could see it being in B tier. Maybe it deserves that more. I'm gonna put it in A tier just because of my bias. 
I love the Roni, and I just got Black Ice for it, so I've been playing it more the past few days. So, if you disagree with me, chalk it up to Bias. Chalk it up to me getting Black Ice. Blame the game, not me. Let's do the 416. Gonna have to put this in A tier. I don't think it's S tier anymore just because of the recoil changes. And I'm not sure, actually. I could be totally wrong here, but didn't they reduce the ammo count on it? I think I'm wrong about that. Honestly, I don't know. But even besides that, just the recoil changes, I think it has to go to, down to A tier. Um, let's see. Dude, th the guns are warped so weird on here. It's so hard to tell what they are. I don't know why they didn't just get, like, a flat picture of them. You know, like, you can, like, change the perspective of the guns. I don't know why they didn't just get, like, a flat picture. Kind of like this pistol. Like, why is it so warped like this? <laughs> anyway, so, um... God, what gun next? Let's do the Alda. Alda, I think, is a good S-tier weapon. It's on Maestro. It doesn't get much play anymore, but it's definitely an S-tier gun. It has like 80-something rounds on defense. Pretty much the only LMG on defense. No recoil. Good fire rate, good damage. Easy S-tier weapon. Let's move on to Frost gun. Definitely an A-tier gun. Not sure that it's uh, S-tier. I could see it being an either, though. I'm going to put it S or A-tier for now. Good damage, slow fire rate, however, good mag capacity though, and you really feel like you have an LMG. Like I was talking about my show's gun, cross gun, you really feel like you have an LMG because you just never stop shooting. Like you could just shoot forever with this gun because it shoots so slowly. Moving on though, uh, the C7E, oh yes, bring this straight to S tier, please. The C7E is a complete beast, bro, I love this gun. Maybe you could bring it down to A tier because I think they did lower the mag capacity. So maybe you could argue that it should be an A tier. But I mean, the damage, the recoil, it's so good. The fire rate's nice. Man, I think you've got to keep it in S tier. That gun is just, that gun is too different. Uh, What gun is this? Is this the Scorpion? I cannot tell. Or is that, no, is that the, God, what's it called? Capitas gun, I think. So hard to tell some of these guns are. I think this is the ARX. Uh, I lost it. Yeah, let's bring the ARX up here. ARX, I'm going to say, is an A tier gun. I know people have, like, a lot of bias towards it. Even me personally, because I've been using it more the past few days. I've been rocking the iron sights on it. You guys are going to see that in the gameplay videos. Make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss out on any of those videos. Turn notifications on. I am doing a lot of gameplay videos with the Yana recently. I've been run running the iron sights. It's been a lot of fun. So I've got a little bit of bias just because I've been kind of playing the gun for the past few days. But I think it deserves A tier. Uh, even with that being said, it's pretty versatile, but the 21 ma the 21 rounds in a mag kind of holds it back. I think if it had 30, then I'd put it S tier, but with the 21, I got to put it A tier. That being said, let's see. Is this a Mavericks gun? No, it can't be. No, it is. Let's put Mavericks gun. Hmm, this gun is too different, bro. This gun is nasty. Let me think. Um... S or A? That's what I'm thinking here. S or A? I'm not sure. Huh. I think it's got to go S tier. Honestly. Good damage. No recoil. Good fire rate. Can't really ask for much more out of a gun, to be honest. So I, I think I'm going to put it S tier. I like that gun a lot. Damn, we got a lot of guns to go. Oh my goodness. All right, let's speed run this. We're taking too much time. MP7, we're putting that at A tier. MP7 is too different. You guys already know. The UMP, let's put this at B tier. We all know the UMP would be better if it did a little bit more damage or if it had a little bit more fire rate. Uh, the 5.56, definitely putting that at S tier. That's a solid ass gun right there. We all know about it. Um, is this Ying's LMG? I can't tell. It definitely looks like it to me. Let's put Ying's LMG at B tier. It's all right. It's not that great. It's okay though. Uh, the 5.52 Commando. Let's put this at B tier as well. I think it could be A tier as well. It shoots a little bit slow, but it does pack a huge punch. I can, I think you can make the argument for A tier. I wouldn't quite go to S tier, so I, I could see either. Let's put, let's put it B tier though, because we got a lot of guns in A tier. The P90. I'm gonna put this in C tier. I think it's got a little bit too much recoil. It doesn't do enough damage. The mag capacity is good though, so I'm gonna leave it in C tier. Let's find a D tier gun. We haven't had any yet. What's a D tier gun? Maybe Frost Shotgun. It's really not that good. Probably could put that in uh, in D tier. I could definitely see it being there. I could see it being in C tier as well. But since it's not on very many operators and it's just overall kind of mid, 
Um, I'm gonna put it in D tier. Uh, let's see. The F90. The F90, I love personally. I think this gun is so nasty. Unfortunately, it's not on very many guns. I'm gonna put it A tier. It's not a bad gun. Good recoil. Good damage. Decent fire rate. Good mag size. Let's put that straight in A tier. That that's your uh average AR right there. Not bad at all. Echoes MP5. I'm gonna put this in C tier. Just because it doesn't do that much damage. Um, the recoil is okay on it, I believe. Uh, but overall, it doesn't do that much damage. Not on that many operators. So let's put it C tier. The M12. Got to put this in... Ooh, C or D. C or D. I don't know. Put in C tier with the uh, Cav pistol. It's not that great. We all kind of know it. The, the fire rate's low. Honestly, no. I, I'm, I'm not going to down a D tier. The fire rate's low. It doesn't do that much damage. It's like a worse MPX. You got to knock it down to D tier. Let's see. Flashes SMG. Hmm. Put a B tier. It's not bad. It's not a bad SMG. Maybe even put a C tier. I don't think it's A tier. I don't think it's S tier. Um, let's leave it at C tier. It's not bad, but I don't think it's that good either. Um, ooh, the T5. The T5 is too different. Got to put... Ooh, I'm almost tempted to put this S tier. The T5 is just a beast. I think you got to put that at, at, at S tier. That gun is just too nasty. I think it deserves S tier. Blackbeard's AR. Going to put this at C tier. It's okay. It's not that good. Uh, actually, you know what? No, it's, it's going to D tier. Um, doesn't have that many bullets in it. The recoil is kind of bouncy. And yeah, it's D tier. I think we can all agree. Ooh, S tier on the other hand, though. I don't care. This is total bias, me putting this in S tier. But in my opinion, the PDW is, is just too different. That gun deserves to be an S tier. I think people underestimate how good the PDW is. The Bearing 9, got to put this in D tier. God, that gun is so god awful, bro. I'm sorry. Doesn't have that much ammo. The damage isn't that great. The fire rate's good, but the uh, recoil is just, it's just a different beast. Like, you can't control that thing. There's no way. Let's see. Oh, this one's going to be controversial, but I think... Ooh, I could see this gun being A tier. I could see the Alibi SMG being S tier. I could also see it being A tier. Personally, I don't like this gun. I mean, that, that may surprise you guys, but I, I honestly, I don't like Alibi SMG. So for my own personal bias, I'm going to put it at A tier. I understand it's a great weapon. I know it's going to ruffle a lot of feathers, but I'm putting it at A tier. I, you can make the argument for S tier, though. I could see it. Let's do some pistols. Let's get, uh, God, I don't know half these pistols. So how do we rank the pistol? Do we, do we, do we put it higher based on ranking it on, uh, compared to other pistols? Or do we put it lower just because it's not as good as other guns? I feel like you have to put it higher. Here's my reasoning here, okay? Hear me out. I feel like the pistols, you kind of have to rank them against each other. Because if I if I compare like the PMM here and Finca LMG, well, Finca LMG is gonna win every day, right? But if I'm comparing like the PMM to like the revolver, I'm gonna put the PMM higher. So personally, I'm gonna put the PMM S tier. I think it does like 69 damage or something ridiculous. Good fire rate. Not that many rounds on a mag, but that's a great pistol. Lions uh, 308 or is it V 308? Whatever it is. Um, it's a solid B tier gun. It's not bad. It's not that good either. Uh, Buck DMR. Yeah, it's a C tier weapon right there. Habana's, Habana's AR. Ooh, this gun, this gun feels nice to shoot. I'm not going to lie. It doesn't have that many bullets in it though, so I'm tempted to put it in A tier. You could make the argument for S tier as well, but I'm going to put it A tier. If it had more bullets, it'd be S tier for sure. Let's see. Cav Shoddy. Yeah, I gotta put that in like C tier. There's much better shotguns than that. Speaking of shotguns, you've got the auto shoddy. I'm gonna put this in B since they nerfed it. If this was Ella Shoddy pre-nerf, I'd be putting it in, in uh I'd be putting it in A tier. But I think it's B tier right now. Um the M762. Yeah, man. I almost wanna put this in D. It's so bad. I'm gonna put it in C just for nostalgia's sake, but god is that gun god awful, bro um the commando the commando is not a bad gun i'll put it in b tier i'd rather run the roni but it's not bad let's see ella pistol yeah man you got to put ella pistol in s tier like you just have to that that gun is too different 
Uh, Vigil's K1A. I'm gonna put the K1A in A tier. It's good, but it's not that good. Is this the Deagle? Let's put the Deagle in uh, A tier as well. I, I don't know if it's quite an S tier gun. It doesn't have a sight. It's not the PMM. It doesn't have low recoil, high damage. It's gonna go A tier. Uh, is this Jackal's pistol? Let's put Jackal's pistol in B tier. It's not bad. Um, is this Capital LMG? I can't tell. This Capital LMG and Gridlock LMG look the same. I think this is Gridlocks. So let's do Capitals. I think Capitals is a solid A tier. I think Gridlocks is a solid A tier as well. Both good guns. The AUG. Man, I gotta put the AUG at B tier. Only because it takes up so much of your screen, man. If it took up less of your screen, I'd be more inclined to put an A tier. But not a bad gun at all. Let's see, the Spaz, uh, Spaz 12... Fast 15, whatever it is, I forget. I'm not a gun person. Put that at C tier. It's not that great. There's better shotguns, such as this one, the SG CQB. Gotta, gotta put this in S tier. Listen, like I said, like I said for the pistols, you gotta rank the shotguns against other shotguns. So I'm not comparing the SG CQB and Finca LMG. I'm comparing it between the other shotguns. And for that reason, it's definitely S tier. That, that shotgun's honestly great. Same with like the M870. Where's that at? Let's put that in S tier. This gun's solid too. Let's put the Capcan Shotty in A tier. That, that one's not bad either. The MP5K. Let's put that in B tier. It's a solid gun. You could almost put that in A tier, to be honest with you. Tempted. Leave it at B tier. Uh, what gun is this? Is this the Para? Is this Capitao's gun? I think it is. Let's put this in B tier. That, that's a solid gun right there. Um, The Nomad AK. Let's put the Nomad AK in B tier. It's okay. Has a lot of ammo, decent recoil, decent damage, decent fire rate. Put in B tier. Maverick DMR. Let's go ahead and put that in C tier. Not that good. The secondary pistol for Cade. Um, yeah, it's gonna go C tier. It's not that good. Yeah, it's actually kind of bad. <laughs> We're gonna put it C tier. The Bailiff, man. I gotta put the Bailiff in A tier. So good. Like if you run an alibi or you run an Oryx, it's so useful for like. Opening hatches, making rotates. It's, it's good up close. Got to put an A tier. It's not as good as other shotguns, so we'll keep it A tier. Just the GSH, I think. Uh, put that C tier. It's not that good. Uh, the P12, you got to put a B tier. It's pretty good. Mm, let's see. Is this... Is this the M8? Or, or the M5? Or whatever it's called? Or is this pull shotty? I can't tell. No, this is pull shotty. This is the M8 or the M5, whatever it's called. Let's put this in S tier. That's a solid shotgun. Let's put the pull shotty in uh, C tier. It's really not that good. Let's look at glasses DMR. Mm, Got to put that in uh, C tier. It's not that good in my opinion. You can see through smoke. It might be uh, might be cool coming up with the new season with scents coming out. So maybe maybe you could argue that it should be a little bit higher because of the new season. But personally, I don't like it that much. I'm putting it in C tier. Ella Scorpion. I'm going to put that in B tier. Let me know if you guys were around when this was S tier. Because this gun used to be nasty. I remember like I would... Oh man, this gun. Oof. That gun was too nasty. PCSG. Uh, I'll put it in C tier. It's okay. Same with Alibi Shotgun. Let's put that in C tier. The uh, Kratos, I think this is called, right? Whatever this, whatever this uh, revolver is. Um, not bad at all. We'll put a B tier. Pretty good, pretty good pistol. You could even put it, we'll put it A tier actually. Oh, the, the AR-33. This is a good gun. I'm gonna put this in S tier. That's a solid gun right there. FMG-9. Yeah, I'll put a B tier. The Boss G. Uh, it's a meme gun. L let's be honest. It's D tier. L let's be honest with ourselves. It's a B tier gun. It's not, or a D tier, I'm sorry. It's not that good, but it's fun to use. You could bump it up to C maybe, but I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put it in D. Um, I forget what this gun is called, but it's, uh, the new one on Zero. I like this gun a lot, actually. I'm gonna put a B tier. I don't think it's A tier. It doesn't have that much ammo, but it's a fun gun. Uh, it's basically a reskinned AK. Yokomi DMR. Uh, let's go ahead and put that in A tier. It's pretty good. The C7 or C75, whatever it is. Yeah, put that in C tier. Warden's Pistol. Let's put that in a, uh, B tier. Super shorty. Yeah, you got to put that in B tier too. It's just so useful for rotates and such. Uh, Ying's LMG. I think I said I put Ying's LMG in here somewhere earlier. So I probably put the wrong gun in here. So my bad on that. Maybe I said it was this. 
the G8. G8's B tier though. Replace uh Ying's LMG in C tier though. Tachanka's gun. Tachanka's gun's gotta be like A tier, right? I mean it's kinda impractical, but it's just because of the operator it's on, but I think you gotta put it A tier. Makes rotates good, does a lot of damage, no recoil. Good mag size. You could maybe even buff that up to S tier to be honest with you. That's a good gun. Uh what is this? Cade's SMG. Gotta place that uh E tier. We'll place it A tier. Let's see, pistols. Dude, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't know the names of any of these pistols. I just know them by their damage. Or like me playing with them. I mean, these three pistols look the same. I think this is the 5.7. The 5.7 is a good A tier gun. Um, Is this the... Yeah, I know what pistol this is. Wait, yeah, yeah, I know what pistol this is. This is definitely an A tier pistol. Um, I forget which one this is called. I'm gonna put it B tier. The revolver is definitely C tier. It's impractical. Uh, what gun is this? Is this the Blackbeard DMR? If so, let's put it, let's put a C tier. It's not that good. Uh, the Vector is a B tier gun. Let's run, through, let's run through some of these shotguns. This is the Supernova, or is what I like to call it back in the day, the Broken Nova, before they fixed it. It kind of sucks. Let's put it, uh, put a D tier. Same with, uh, Jackal shotgun. It's not that good. Put a D tier. We got lots of pistols left. Let's knock these pistols out. I think this is Buck's pistol. Let's put that in A tier. It's a solid pistol right there. Uh, the italics or whatever it's called. I call it the italics. Probably not what it's called. That's what I'm calling it though. Not a bad shotgun. Let's put it at C tier. It's great for rotates and utility usage. Not so much for gunfights. Um, this is Ying shotgun. Let's go ahead and put that at uh, C tier. Not that great. Same with, uh, what is this? Nox and Legion shotgun. Not that great. All right, we're down to the final uh, six pistols here. So let's just start throwing them out. C tier, um, C tier, C tier, C tier, C tier, C tier. <laughs> They're all C tier. They're all kind of mid, guys. I'm going to be honest. They're all kind of mid. All right, let's zoom out. Let's get an overview here. See if I can show all the guns. Yeah, there we go. All right. Awesome. So that's my tier list. Um, Probably gonna be a little controversial. The tier lists are always controversial. People are always saying how like one gun should be higher or lower. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you think I should have placed a certain gun higher or lower. Be sure to let me know down in the comments. If you guys enjoyed this video, consider liking the video. Subscribe if you're new. Turn those notifications on if you've already subscribed. I do daily uploads on the channel. So if you're interested in watching that content, feel free to do so. Uh, anyways, that's it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a great day.